it's back throw Final Smash. So Gay was saying that you can back throw at uh, Final Smash with Dark Pit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can. It's back throw, back throw Final Smash. It was ridiculous the Smash Four. People used to be like, "What? That's a true combo?" Yeah, you die. It kills at every percent. Even like, even at, like, I think it kills. No, from twelve and up in four. In Smash Four, you back throw Final Smash. <laughs> it was ridiculous. <laughs> When I used to play at people's parties, people would just be like, what? That's so broken. I'd just be like, well, it's, I can only do it in this mode if you have it on, but <laughs> it was it was, it was, was really fun to do. I'm not going to lie. People would just be like, oh, he's going to do it. And then they would see me approach. And you'd be like, why would you approach me? I was like, you'll see, man. <laughs> You're approaching me? <laughs> yeah. I can't win if I don't approach you, bro. So I, it was, it was a sick combo. I remember. I loved it. work it does work <laughs> that's funny but yes we're on our way to grand finals be the last set of the night we have Gayo coming from loser side Ashton performed very well on winner side uh, with a couple close calls actually Pretty good close calls. super random I know I don't know why I'm thinking about this but what's your favorite like seasonal McDonald's item my favorite seasonal McDonald's item? Yeah, you know how they have like the McRib, the Shamrock Shake, you know, Do the I cherry have pie. Pick one? Do you have one? I don't know. No. Do you have one? I guess if I have to pick one, it would be the holiday pie. Oh, that's I never expected that. Everyone say the McRib. I had the McRib once. My mom used to be like nuts for the McRib. Whenever it come out, we had to get at least like a couple McRibs before it went away. Not like a couple at one time, it was, you get like one here, and then a couple weeks later, another one. Uh, but I, when I eventually I tried it, I didn't, I, it was okay. I did not see the, I didn't see the hype. Oh, oh hold on, really Now quick. let me, let me tell you about my McDonald's story, alright? Alright, you tell me, you tell me. Have you ever gone to any fast food place and been like, I want all of X item? Like, can you imagine going to a McDonald's and say, give me all your chicken nuggets? No, I've never done that. <laughs> you gotta do it, man. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, thank you so much, Up for All Among You. I'm doing very well. It's been a minute since I've last seen you, dude. And I hope you're doing well as well. I know it's been a minute since I've last seen you since Hat, but uh, good to hear from you as well. But yeah, I think the McRib is a pretty solid one. I like the Shamrock Shake just because I'm weird. I guess the fillet of fish would have been the other one, but that's not really a seasonal item. No, and the uh, sorry, the McRib is actually seasonal. It's only available like I think I forgot when exactly, but it's only available in in certain parts of the year. I'll be honest, like when it comes to McDonald's, I pretty much just eat the breakfast items. I like Javi, I love I love the nuggets. And oh, ask Javi if he loves the nuggets now. <laughs> you got a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah. We do it every couple years. The War Chief, I swear to God, I went to McDonald's last night with my mom. Dad asked, did not see. I asked about the McRib, and I'm only asking this because I asked, she doesn't know it's a seasonal item and it's out of season. Then the strawberry and cream pie, which I think is very disgusting. That's just You're just a hater. I like the cherry pie. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of their apple pie. That was actually the item that when I went to and I was like, give me all your apple pie. That's worth That's so worth <laughs> It's so worth <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you for it. But uh, Gabe was already, already taking a stock off Ashton. Through our McDonald's endeavors. I hope we haven't made anyone too hungry in the chat. Yeah, I should be eating healthy during this quarantine. Yeah, you guys should. I'm eating healthy, man. I'm getting tired of it because I miss everything else, but I'm eating very healthy. All good down there. And thank you, Afro Monk you. The Shamrock Shake is, in my opinion, it's a little under it's a little bit. No, 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 no. I like it. <laughs> oh, that was a good Z-drop. Yeah, it was. I'm more impressed with, like, Gayo's patience at the... At the ledge um because when you're stuck in the corner you really want to escape as as often, as soon as you can but he's he was like 
perfectly comfortable having Ashton throw out a lot of attacks uh, that weren't, he wasn't in danger of getting hit by. Honestly, this would be a this would be a much more difficult matchup if Pit did not get those Garden all the cards buff. Let's see, what did they do to the orbiters? Uh they reduced the ending lag by I think about four to five frames. Wow, broken. Yeah. So you can now consistently jump and garden orbitars and cancel them out like easily. Z drop at the ledge, but multi jumps is gonna allow Gayo to escape from the ledge. Now, Gayo's holding onto his stock fairly well, but he's not attacking on any extra damage, and that's really the issue there. The boomerang yeah. setting up Ashton for the kill he needed. It's it's a fear factor. Like if you don't if you don't get hit by, you'll get hit by it at some point, and it'll cause you some damage and some regret. It, in my opinion, Boomerang is like probably an underrated projectile. I think Ivysaur Leaf, Razor Leaf is really, really good. Like, but I think Ivysaur Razor Leaf and both Link's Boomerang are just all three Link's Boomerang is just super underrated. When people think of projectiles, they don't think of those two projectiles, but I'm telling you right now, they're very good. Okay, trying to get the tech chase with the down smash, but instead he gets a fair drag to down tilt hero spin. Gayo on the receiving end of a of essentially like a high damage combo. Crazy because I've been playing melee is that young link close range boomerang does 21%. I don't know why. <laughs> well, that game's crazy in its percents, anyways. Yeah, like. Soccer was just like, yeah, man, if he hits you with Boomerang at, like, point blank range, you're taking 21%. Uppy? Yep. And that's not it. Still a good combo, though. Let's push Ashton in a pretty good position at 103 to 118. This is... Ooh. Dash tag might have killed? It's just it's the situation here should have been a little bit different. Forward air, that'll do it. Yeah. Wow. No tech. No, just because he didn't tech. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I know, I'm sure, but that was like in a, a platform assist. Yeah. Would that oh. would that fair have connected if uh if the platform wasn't there? Yeah. Link, Young Link? Oh, he was dead then. Yeah, Young Link's boomerang fair is like... It's, it's ridiculous. Like, Link, Link's, Link's boomerang fair is something, but Young Link's boomerang fair is a whole different beast. It is ridiculous. And also, I started eating bad at the start of this quarantine, and I'm not gonna lie, the reason why I stopped is because I saw my chin get so big, it looked like Thanos. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna eat a salad from now on. <laughs> I had Thanos' chin at one point. I was very, very embarrassed. <laughs> the grimace chin, huh? Yeah, the grimace chin. I, I I smiled one day. I remember I called myself a cow. I was like, damn, bro, this chin, chin looking like Thanos. I, I gotta cut on the, I gotta cut on the carbs. Okay, we're we'll running back to Battlefield. Uh, yeah. Again, Aston like having another close game with Gao. I wouldn't be surprised if we have like another game five uh, between these two players, and every every game is last hit. Yeah. But also, I, 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 it sounds weird, I never, this compliment I never like to give, just because it's like, you should be playing fine all the time, but like, Gay was playing exceptionally well. I think he's definitely coming in with very, very warm hands, and a very well-trained mindset here. Not that he doesn't ever do that, because like, every time we see him at MSM, he's just, he's coming in through the woodworks, man. But, I can tell you right now, he's definitely playing to win. Yeah, I'm sure Ashton's doing the same. We see another fire arrow in Tanair. Just look at this. I saw the boomerang trying to set up a fire arrow, but instead Nair out of shield is the option for Ashton. Yeah, yeah the point. grab a good mash. Yeah, I wouldn't have not grabbed. I would have gone for Nair just to push a mash, but hey, man. I'm not the one holding the controller right now. And this is the reason why Ashen's in Grand Finals and not me. 
Nice. Save the jump. Go for that little recovery. Oh, just really weaving good. through all of Ko's attacks at the at the ledge. Still resetting his resources and still escaping. Who was this guy? Why was he? Why was he uh, ranked so low in our seeding? He was seated 19th in our tournament. <laughs> It's hard to rank people in online tournaments, and that's just facts. Unless you're a top player, like a known top player. You swear to God I'm gonna remember the young link from Nebraska. Or the young link from Alaska. Well, Nebraska or Alaska, I'm remembering whoever, wherever Ashton's from after tonight. Yeah. I remember one time I said this exact quote, and someone said he's actually the top 10 link from... He's actually number 3 in, in Nebraska, and I was like, are you kidding me? I was just joking, but... Damn. Yeah, good approach in there. Yeah, but going the trade again, going in Ashton's favor. That's kind of the the trade that you take whenever you throw out a multi hit versus um, a single hit. That's like more powerful. Yeah. I don't know if this is Skittles arrow. I feel like it low key is, it just changes tags so nobody knows. But the last time Skittles was on stream, he actually showed up with his, with his tag. He actually did. So I don't yeah, know I, why. I could have sworn Skittles was actually in bracket though. Uh, he wasn't in bracket today. He he got top three when I, when I miss him online. Um, but the. Yeah, Skittles is number one in Nebraska. That's what I made the joke, bro. And someone did tell me, yeah, he's actually number one in Nebraska. And I just laughed. I was like, you kidding me? I was joking, but. Stop ruining my joke, Arrow. Is Arrow your, your Ghost Rider? Sometimes he is. Alright, good job, Arrow. It's either Arrow or Case or Cases. Cases Ghost Rider, some of my tweets, some of my <laughs> Another rapid jab at the ledge. Gale's uh, looking much better here in game two. He's not getting caught in the, into the traps as much. And as I say that, like, another swing with the forward air connects. Okay, catching the catching the high recovery. I like that Gale actually kind of spaces over the ledge just a little bit because you kind of know like Ashton might be coming in really really hot with either boomerang or fair. You know, it was a good guess. Neutral air and the knockback is enough to put it up one one a piece. I thought Gale won game one by the way. No, Ashton won. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're right. This might go to game five. Yeah, every game I've seen between these two players so far has been a nail biter. The players from states. I'm just gonna consistently save. I don't know. I think there's a smash. I don't think there's a smash scene in Minnesota. No, there's probably one in Minnesota. No, I don't know. Man, probably. God. It's okay, Vance. I just say Wyoming. There's a scene know. everywhere. I just say there's a smash scene in Wyoming. I don't know anything about Wyoming. <laughs> I'll say Wyoming and Montana. There you go. Wyoming and Montana. Easy. Especially Montana. I, I've never heard of a top player from Montana, ever. Isn't that where Rayquaza's from? Where who? Rayquaza. Hey, I, was, <laughs> I hope I'm not. He, I hope not. I don't, he's not from Montana. Yeah, somebody agree. I've still never met somebody from Montana. Exactly. Thank you. I'm saying they're from Montana from now on. Getting a couple nares, Ashton. Again, kind of resorting back to his like fading back nares while uh, he continues to throw out projectiles. These are very difficult to get in on him, but Gale still Gale able to weave through. I've pushed him so far, especially from that deep. I almost said I did, I forgot. Sometimes this. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. 
But they also don't teach geography in schools anymore for some reason. We out here watching deers in Montana play Smash 4. Yeah, there you go. We got top deers. Top deers. <laughs> he who has the biggest antlers wins. Alright, well. There's no antlers in this matchup. Only a grab down throw to down arrow. Really good stuff from Gale. Just trying to keep a lead here. 164. Yeah, you know, kind of similar to what I said last time, though. You know, we see Gale holding onto his stock for a good amount of time, but putting on the extra credit is where he struggles. He got 48 onto Ashton this time. But, like, even in comparison to numbers that both of these players, uh, their damage output, it's, it's not a lot. Very beyond the but I respect the very safe and sorry in this situation, but I think what, what Gale is trying to get used to is Ashton's, even though Boomerang will be reflected back at Ashton, he knows that he can still go with Fire Arrow or Bomb, and one of them will hit, and that'll allow Ashton a window of time to come in with an aerial or a hit. He has to go super low, the bomb reset, yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, he, he wanted that. You. Yeah, that actually would have worked really well. Actually, boomerang to fair from that situation, it worked would have worked really well. Oh, where's the up smash out of shield? There it is. Yeah, I think the one thing Ashton we're starting to slowly see now is he wants to start changing the angle of boomerang. That way, it doesn't get reflected. And if Gale goes for an approach with Nair, it'll also hit. That's one thing that I I do consistently is blink. It was just change your angles a little bit. That way, it doesn't get reflect, then you get a lot of changes. So, and that's what we're slowly seeing from Ashton instead of the regular toss. Okay, down air out of shield. I think lower percent is really just going to be a small punish for, for Gayo. At higher percent, you know, that's when we'll see the, the ground bounce occur. Okay, I was kind of feeling himself here at 120. Good job. He knows he's at the ledge. He knows he can die easily if he just makes the wrong move here. So he's really cautious. Yeah, and Smash has always been the underdog. We'll be fine. Mark my words on this one. Maybe Twitch clip me if you want. But I do think it's really unfair that a lot of us has gone through a situation like the one we just went through. And the FGC still separates us. That's all I gotta say on that. And they separate us in the word, by, by what I mean. Anyways, arrow, arrow to put off the link off stage. Neutral air, he has to pull out bomb here to recover, and he does not pull out bomb. If he had pulled out bomb maybe earlier, he could have made that recovery, and Gale will put something to 2 1. Yeah, but the distance that Ashton was at was really close. Didn't, honestly, didn't look like he needed to, to pull out a bomb. I guess it was just out of range. Yeah. Yeah, bomb. I think for Young Link is a six-second timer for yeah, Young Link, yeah. and yeah, yeah, six-second timer for Young Link and Link. I'm sorry, Young Link and Two Link. It's a six-second timer. Um, so he had to pull bomb the second he got off stage. And it's really difficult to like, kind of judge that. Um, and then for Link, his bomb explodes within 30 seconds. Has a self detonation. So yeah. We might be looking at a reset here. Uh, Gale, like like I said, man, he's coming in with hot hands. Three, yeah. Two, one, one game away from go. resetting the bracket, and we'll start with a clean 0-0 zero, zero for both players. Yeah, and, and like I said earlier, I, I never... I'm a compliment of, like, he's playing super well today. It's like, no, I think he plays well every day. It's just certain times you're just not up to par on a matchup, or a, a player is just, you know, significantly reading on your play style. I think... But I have to admit, Gale comes to this MSM online with a lot to show every single time. I don't think he's ever disappointed me. But yeah, Ashton definitely sitting on Grand Finals winner side for a really good reason. So I'm liking some adjustments that he's slowly making. Like I said, boomerang angles they have to change. Okay, get catching with another up air, but a down air from Ashton's gonna make sure that. Uh, he makes it back, is able to touch the ground with his feet. 
Good change. I like that. A little bit of a dash back to kind of like set himself up for a position here. It's good forward air, but unfortunately, I think he overextended it. I think he was waiting for one of the projectiles to actually catch Gale, and then he connected into forward air, but unfortunately, that did not happen. Uppy? Yeah. This is actually not enough. Yeah, not from that positioning. A little bit closer to the ledge. Definitely would have killed. But again, knocking Gale back off stage. Resetting at the ledge. Interesting. Two nares and a boomerang is what it took to break the shield or the orbiter. back on stage and now both players shooting their projectiles at each other. Orbiter comes up for a little bit of defense from Gao, but uh, is not needed as he puts an additional 60% onto Ashton. Yeah, oh no, yeah, I missed grab. Usually Ashton's been pretty good with those grabs, honestly. Oh yeah, he's at the bottom reset, able to recover. Another S smash on Ashton's shield. Well, this S smash is coming out from Gayo. Yeah, good stuff on Ashton to kind of retreat back, go for Boomerang, see if we can get a follow up in there. Once again, like I said, good job on him, changing the angles. But back air gets the. That was a nice B reverse Boomerang on that one. Showing up that he does have some stuff. I think at this point, Ashton thought he was going to be able to actually hit him with fire arrow from close range, and he wouldn't have to worry about guarding over the fires, but, ba but Gale is literally telling him, like, everything, you have to worry about everything. Yeah, no matter what your range, I'm bringing out the orbiters. Yeah. Expect the unexpected from both players. Bomb reset, yep, and that's enough for Young Link, and he could have caught him on that one, too. No dash attack. Good boss up on that one, though. Shield is small. Yeah, one thing I'd, I would like to see, with, uh, or at least a change I'd like to see for this game is like the speed at which shield recharges. I wish it recharged a little bit slower. I think one thing I also want to see from Ashton is different ledge setups too as well. Um, there are some situations where I feel like you could go for like Z drop a bomb or toss the bomb up into, you know, coercing Gale to go for a different option at ledge or to cover an option from a high. I think there's some things I wish Ashton would just do with Bomb a little bit differently. And this is me this is me taking into account that I've seen Zan do some ridiculous things with Bomb. Yeah, okay, here we go. Down throw. Drag down there, but not enough to make it back. We have a bracket reset. Yep. Can't help but feel sorry for you. I wish we had like those really cool like esports horns. They would just be like bip, 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 reset. Every time someone gets a reset, just make it feel special. Poor Chief, why don't we have those? He's like, it's not on the budget. <laughs> or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like something we could easily get, actually. Yeah. Grander finals? That's what I'll call it. I've been playing Grand Blue Fantasy, so we literally have a, a meme called Grand Finals. Oh yeah, that's just he was the best character, right? Or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a mix of him, Zui, and Jita. Which one's the short character? What do you mean? Like, oh, um, Charlotta? Yeah, isn't, she's not running amok anymore? Yeah, she's still running amok, but she's not like... She's like a Kuma. Short Akuma. Yeah. Can do a lot, but also gets hit a lot. Her advantage is that she used to be short, but she still has stuff.
the character that really fell off was Matera. Like everybody was like, Matera's top tier, and that character the, fell off. The chick with the bow. Yeah. Okay, so this is game one of our reset. Similar to, to our previous set, both players kind of keeping up with each other. Never really, outside of that last game, like haven't really seen a, an extension from either player. Like, it was, definitely seems like he's starting to get uh, Ashton's rhythm down. Yeah. Good attack. Oh, we're looking for the down tilt too. Uh, that was a good read from Ashton, just unfortunately mistimed the down tilt. Wow. With an F smash and pulled out the side B. <laughs> to get the tech taste but doesn't find it. Ashton throwing out a couple down airs. Yeah, one too many, I would say. I don't think he even needed a down air there the first situation. No, but I think like it, just looking for, for a way to get rid of the stock. Down air connects should kill. So instead of having to try and set up into to closing out the stock, he just wanted to end it. I think it was either a shield pull or he let go of shield, but I think from what I saw in the replay, uh, he let go of shield. That looked like it was still a sour. Yeah, they both, both of these guys, even then, like I would say, it was well, like, their nears are really good. Still the sour nair to kill? That's... Mm. That's crazy. I know it's I know it's been like that for the links, but still. <laughs> I think young link more than actual link. Adult link. Yeah, it's his other like quote unquote kill option. He it's really good for him to go for it if like he has no other option and if it's more of a forced situation where like, okay, I went for forward air, here I'm gonna go near. Nice. This is a fourth throw. Yep. Try to get the snipe, but directional air dodge is high. Trying to run the timer out. I don't know if he's gonna make that back. Yeah, he was too far back. Yeah, he was. He needed to not get interrupted, and that's essentially what Gayo did. Because when we saw the heroes being connect, I think uh, they both were traded, and then that was it. Oh, that's another nair. Yep. As soon as he got the downer extension, if that one connected, that was a dead young link. That would have been a quick zero to death for Gayo. Yep. It seems like ever since game four occurred, um, like Gayo, or ever since Gayo got his second W, uh, he's been having like a better second half of the game. And what I mean that that is that he's been able to really push his. Oh, that's dirty. That's um, dirty. He did this man dirty. <laughs> He's really been able to like maintain his momentum after closing out the stock. Um, not so much over the first stock, but in the second stock. Yeah, I and, agree. And he'll, he's been like two stocking Ashton. I still totally agree. Uh, can we get Xander Mobus to say reset? Funny story about that. I spoke to a voice actor, and they told me usually when you have when you want to do stuff like that. You can't have that in contracts. So like if you it's really weird, but like if you're streaming a game and you request like the voice actor, like how like um 
I can't even say his name anymore. But you request a voice actor to say something, and they already have a voice in the game. Usually in contracts, they don't allow that. So if we were to try to ask Xander Mobus, like, hey, can we ever get you to record a voice saying reset for to use in Smash Ultimate? You actually can't do that. Because it's part of the breach of their contract. Wow. I'm sorry, he just zero to death them. Wow. Alright, Gale. I see you. Like you understand, it's it's a late night. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if Gale actually wins this, he'll be the only player to have won MSM online twice. Is that really true? Yep. If it kept in track. Yeah, I think Ashton is a little nervous. Looking at his gameplay from last from last game, he was a little, I can tell you, he's a little bit nervous. The tunnel vision is real. Yeah, I agree. That would have tilted me. Boomerang and Fair. The Fair should have connected, but armor from the side B, Dark Pit, just nullifying your kill. Yeah. That would tilt me. Yeah, but it's also the fact that I'm like, oh no. It's the fact that Gale knows that every time he throws that boomerang from a certain range, nine times out of ten, Ashen's gonna follow up with an aerial. Right. So he knows if he's gonna follow me up with an aerial, I can reflect that with Electro Dash Arm and then still hit him at the same time and punish him for that. Yeah, but it was off stage, like. <laughs> that's you your conversion. That's your bread and butter conversion getting interrupted by a special. Which yeah. not every character has. So you have to adjust and say, like, like even your bread and butters aren't aren't safe to do anymore. That's that's tough. That's a tough realization to come to. Yeah. Nice neutral air 114. Oh, he wanted that snipe so bad. He goes low. Yep. And he can't, he can't recover anymore. He's just gonna make it back. He's gonna make it back still, but... Luckily, uh, the blast zones are close enough for Ashton to be able to play that aggressive style off stage and have the bomb allow him to make it back. But we just saw Gayo three stock Ashton. Like and it seems like as the night progresses, the this match just goes further and further in Gayo's favor. Yeah. Sounds like you need to get Nintendo's permission or to get such a request. Uh, it depends on the contract. Like I said, uh, I, I, I spoke to somebody who worked on uh, what was it? Dust in Elysian Tale pretty old game by now but like they they told me how things work and coincidentally Xander Mobus is actually a voice in that game I'm surprised you knew who Xander Mobus was I, I have two friends who are voice actors I mean I do too but I still don't know who Xander Mobus is uh he voices Joker and he is the voice of the announcer in Smash Ultimate oh he looks much younger in his picture dude trust me he's very young <laughs> wow <laughs> he's younger than us He's younger than us, I can tell you for sure. Oh, he's not that much younger. Still younger. He's, he's still... Yeah, but he doesn't look his age, is my point. Oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. But also, unlike every other voice actor that I've met, he's the only one who doesn't have a beard. And <laughs> I think that's why. <laughs> Okay, well, Ashton is fighting back. That whatever whatever just happened in game two, I'm sure it was a wake up call for for Ashton that he needs to make some adjustments because the download was definitely complete. Look at this, we're seeing a much more fierce Ashton here in game three. Dash attack connects for Gale. And here we go, the snipe fest occurs. She got the down air. That was good. Has enough shield pushback to actually like be okay. Especially if, only if it's baseball.
trying to pressure Gayo on the platforms, but able to escape essentially unharmed. Yeah, I just don't understand why these down airs keep coming out for Ashton. It seems like such a risky play. It might be a misinput I'm gathering at this time, but like I said, I don't know if it's tunnel vision or if it's a misinput. It's kind of hard to determine sometimes. I like don't even want to call it a misinput because it just occurs so often. Exactly, and I don't see you under the move unless you're gonna go for like a fastball there. But even then, I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to say it's a misplay. I'm I'm with you on that one. Yeah. So Etel connects and again bringing these stocks even. Whatever little fight or whatever fight Ashton had left in him is definitely coming out here in game three. Okay, boomerang into forward air, getting the back air one, but that's because of a trade. Gale's able to escape. I was gonna say, yeah, chat. Um, Hero Spin on a shield is pretty solid for Link. Doesn't necessarily kill until later percents, but it's a really good get off me option, and it has a multi hit, and it does damage. Pretty solid. Doesn't have a lot of range, for sure. Oh, there's a Hero Spin yeah. into an up air. That's one it's thing really for, for Young Link's Hero Spin is that it'll send, if they DI correctly, it sends them directly straight up. It's easy follow up. Yeah, it's actually funny because it's the same way melees worked. <laughs> it's a little bit different than down smash from the landing. Yeah, I think you're right, chat. Gao does love this down smash. Alright, great DI out. It's a lower percent. That's how you're going to escape from getting an additional forward air. I think it has slightly more range than forward smash, I can't remember. Alright, see, down over there made sense. Because he was going to be able to shield pressure and then still escape because of the bounce. Alright, weaving past the boomerang, even on its way back, Gale, still able to apply pressure onto Ashton. Ashton's really looking to clean up the stock and gets the trade I mean he'll take it at that point he took 15 for it but I mean, he, he eliminated the stock the only reason why I don't think Gao is actually using down smash though is that it's his fastest smash attack it's like frame 5 compared to all the other ones I don't know you were spamming S smash a lot earlier in this set yeah I just know down smash isn't smash is fast smash attack, so it can do it really, really fast. Put it all in another. Oh, great pick up into hero spin. It's not going to be a kill, but good damage. Just like evening up the score. Ooh, that was big. That was big for, for Ashton. He needs this W right now if he were to, if he wants to find a way to come back. That's right. Tournament life on the line. Cross up. Good use of Nair here. Yeah, double Nair for Ashton. Back throw. Ooh, down throw change up with the DI. Nice. Yeah, okay, even tacking on more with the back air, essentially resulting in more damage, uh, putting Ashton closer to kill percent. Ooh, the That's up it. smash! That's what? It. That's it. That's what? It. That's what? It. He was at 90! He was That's at 90! Yeah. What? Young Link's weight, man. Young Link's weight. And that up smash was fresh. Young Link's weight. Up smash is fresh. Buffed up smash. Those three in combination that give Bayo Gayo the W. Okay, well, congratulations, Gayo. Winning another MSM online. Ashton, thanks for.